Peter, hi. Hi, did I wake you? No, no, I'm awake. I can't remember where you said to meet now. Coast Guard Station. Is it near the sea? Yeah, the Coast Guard Station is near the sea, yeah? I think I know the place. There's a kind of prom and some iron men and an ice cream man. I'm sure I'll find it. I... Do you know if the ice cream man does coffee? You're there already, aren't you? No. Thanks for that. Is that what you're wearing? What's wrong with it? Nothing. It's very smart. It's just... What? I don't know, do I? I don't know what's appropriate. Very, you know, quadrophenia. I was admiring the uh, ice cream band too. What do you think? The cream looks really creamy. My friends and I were admiring your paintwork. Great detail. My son paints these. Maybe this is one of his. He does the jingles, too. Do you do a cappuccino? Ice cream van. Yeah, that's not one of mine. I don't do smiley ice creams. Oh, I appreciate that. Do you want to go in mine or yours? Yours then. I'll drive then. I thought we might need to make a night of it. No, no, no. I've got to get back. Sue's got stuff to do. Everything all right at home, is it? Fine, thanks. Just a funny way of putting things, that's all. What? I've got to be back because Sue's got stuff to do. Haven't you got stuff to do? Isn't this stuff? Work. She's got work. Wait, what are you doing? It's like being in the car with Jack. It's a word game, an app, location. What was that about Jack? Are you not relating to him properly? Am I what? A girl in China played a computer game for three days and nights without a break, dropped dead of exhaustion. You want to watch your Jack. What are you doing on your phone at a time like this? We should be talking. Since when did games stop people talking? Talking's what we did when we played Scrabble. We didn't play Scrabble. What? We were always playing Scrabble. It wasn't Scrabble. It was Scrabble-like. It was called Scribble or Scrubble. It was a cheap rip-off of Scrabble. The letters came on a cardboard sheet and we had to press them out. Oh, yeah. And you always insisted on having the dictionary on the table. Well, at least we played each other and not the bloody phone. That's the amazing thing. I'm not playing the phone. There's this guy called Skinny Thesaurus, and he's absolutely brilliant. Fun. Talk to you digital later. What? I'm sure I'm going deaf. I don't hear half of what you're saying. Yeah, I'm fine. We've got to come back in the morning. It's not, it's not even 10 to yet. The official who does it is on a job share type of thing, austerity. They finished early. Child minding. We'll have to make a night of it. 
No, no, no. We'll go on. We'll come back in the morning. It's already getting dark. A roads in the dark. Oncoming full beam. Nightmarish. We'll get some sleep. We'd have to find somewhere to stay. But that's OK. I've already booked somewhere. I never thought this was a realistic itinerary. I booked somewhere the day we heard. Oh, no. There we go again. I didn't hear that either. It's almost as if you wanted to say things, but you don't want me to hear them. It's like a kind of passive-aggressive thing. I said I didn't bring a toothbrush. Oh. Well, I noticed you didn't have a bag, so I got you one when we stopped for petrol. Which do you want? Cyberman or... Dalek? Obviously, the circumstances could be better. But on the other hand, how often do we get to sit around enjoying each other's company? Let's us two make the best of it, eh? This is cosy. Can't beat a proper fire, can it? Excuse me, we couldn't have the music down a bit, could we, or off? I always say the only good thing about jazz is that it scores very highly in Scrabble. <laughs> in fact, you can't play the word jazz in Scrabble. There's only one Z in the set. <laughs> oh, is that right? That's very interesting, that. There's only one said. I haven't played Scrabble for years. I don't suppose anybody does these days, do they? It's all Grand Theft Auto now, isn't it? Arthur likes Scrabble. Don't you, Arthur? <laughs> Peter, you'd love a game of Scrabble, wouldn't you? There's a set over there, look, under the Cluedo. You need to count all the tiles. You don't want to get halfway through a game and find you've got tiles missing. I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, well, it's only half past stage. Come on, have a game of Scrabble. You used to love Scrabble. I used to like Thundercats. I've moved on. What are you gonna do? Same with prayers. It's a big day tomorrow. You don't fancy making this a bit more interesting, do you? How do you mean? A bet. A lotter, a wager. Or maybe not. You've obviously got a massive, what's it, lots of words. Vocabulary, lexicon, word hoard. <laughs> That's very good. What do you think? But if we said five? You're a confident man, Arthur. Ooh, I haven't got 500 to spare, unfortunately. Well, I've got 200, is that it? Or 220, in fact. But call it 200, never bet your last pound. 200? Sure, why not? <laughs> when you can play all seven of your letters in one go. You get an extra 50 points for that. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Bingo, eh? You learn something new every day. Z. 
Xi, that's a word, is it? Is that a word? It's the letter in the Greek alphabet. Uh, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon. So it's not a word, it's a letter? No, it, it's a word. It's, um, it's a word for a letter of the Greek alphabet. M m what? Musjix. Is that not a word? I know I've heard it somewhere before, but if you haven't, then... Dictionary. Oh, Arthur, it looks like a word. Play on. I could change it to Muzak. Muzjik, an indentured Russian peasant. I knew I'd heard it before. Where? Where what? Where do you hear that? And it's a very unusual word. It's not exactly an everyday use, is it? Come on down to Muzjik Zarus for all your indentured peasant needs. Arthur, it's a word. What's its score? Uh, 117. That's really good. Murmansk, by the way. I think I heard it in Murmansk. When I was in the Merchant Navy, we were in and out of Murmansk. It's what they call the storyteller in West Africa. When I was on the gold... Just play the word. Ezron. I think it's a font. Actually, it's a cheese made by Trappist monks. Stinkiest cheese in the world. Oh, looks like I bingoed too. It's an Italian card game. You have two teams. Yeah, I know what Scaponi is. <sighs> I was going to play quartz. You beat him to the queue. Is that right, Arthur? What's key when it's at home? It's um, life energy in Chinese philosophy. My aromatherapist is always talking about qi. I have aromatherapy for stress. You'd know about it. If you ever listened to a word I said... Well, I didn't know about it, did I? He doesn't know anything about me. I know you do aromatherapy. You don't do aromatherapy. You have it. Like chicken pox. I have stress. You can probably see where I get it from. Tea. A drink with jam and bread. That's not how you spell it. No. Tea. Tea. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la. He's right. I know I'm right. It's a firearm with a... You know this, don't you? What did you do that for? What? What did you get for that? Six? Six points? Why did you do that? I was going to use that, men. I was going to turn it into anadiomony. 67 points! Where are you going? What's wrong? It's only a game. I'm going to take a leak. Oh. Sorry. Go on, then. I'm sorry about this. He's on edge. I can see that. He's not always like this. He used to be a singer, can you believe? A singer? Sessions, you know. You remember back in the day when they used to do those top 20 hits, but not by the original artists? Pickwick? Pickwick, top of the pops. No. He was the Pickwick singer. Oh. <laughs> He's been them all. Ken Dodd, Freddie Mercury. Never sings anymore. Oh, that's a shame. We lost our son. He went missing. We haven't seen him since. He was 19. That's why we're here. The police have found a body. It might be the body of our son. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry about that. You think it's... It's the not knowing that's the hardest. But tomorrow maybe we will know, and maybe we'll wish we were back to not knowing, eh? Hope is a great friend. Yeah. He was Bonnie Tyler once. Bonnie Tyler? Yeah. Sang the Pickwick version of It's a Heartache. You'd never have known it wasn't her.
thought it would all be over with today. But when we got here, the official who runs the morgue, can you believe this, is on a job share. Had to leave early. Childcare. <laughs> so, Anna Diomene. I'm going to take our men off the board. Alan doesn't mind. Do you, Alan? No, no, not at all. Part of the fun is the magic of lovely words. You know me, I can't sleep without a walk. Ever since, you know. I used to go out looking for him. <laughs> just walking the streets, you know. It's just a habit now, a ritual. I know. Bonnie Tyler. It's a heartache, nothing but a heartache. What is? Arthur, downstairs. Bonnie Tyler, Pickwick, top of the Pops compilation album. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a fool's game, nothing but a fool's game. <laughs> It was for him, anyway. 200 I took off him. You did what? I beat him. You hustled him? You hustled Bonnie Tyler? I didn't hustle him. I smashed him. Did you use your extra Z on him? What? You can't play jazz and scrabble, because there's only one Z in the set. <sighs> and? You played jazz that night. You played it off Zygote. Top right hand corner, triple word score, scored off the board. They're going up there themselves tomorrow. Up where? The morgue. They've got a son, went missing. They're going to take a look at a body. That's the same body we're going to look at. The one that might be our Michael. That's right. Their son goes missing. They're going to look at the body. And you hustle them out of 200 quid. Who are you? When you put it like that. It started off as a game. Then when I found out, I, s I seemed to. I got the feeling that. If I let him beat me, it would be our Michael, and if I won, it would be their lads. I know it's mad. What are you doing here? This is where we're here. Were you waiting for us? No. We're here for the same. My lad went missing too. Oh, you didn't say. I didn't like. You were telling me about yours. It was good of you to listen. If I'd known. You weren't to know.
Mr. Miller. I'll cope. I thought you were a woman. Child care issues. No, I, I have a three-year-old and uh, I'm on my own, so, you know. Well, just the two of us. Oh, right, just sorry. I'm not, I'm not sure no, I'm no, ready. No, that's fine. My dad did last night. You'll have to excuse him. It takes us all in different ways. Oh, we know that, don't we, Arthur? It's nice to have something to take our mind off it, to be honest. We should be apologizing to him, really. <laughs> Well, if I can make it up to you. No, no, it's all right. He probably thought you were millionaires. Rock stars. We had all of those records. He used to get them for us. You, t you told him about that? Well, it, it's not a secret, is it? I mean, it was then, but... What are you doing? I know it was, what was it? I think it was a couple hundred quid. No, it? don't be daft. What are you talking about? That side bet? He shouldn't have done that. Bet? He said it was a couple of hundred. You bet hundreds of pounds on a game of Scrabble. Not hundreds, two hundred. I thought he was- He took you? He took you for the fool you are? He cheated. I'm sure he did. No. He's just a lot cleverer than you are. You keep that, son. That's the price a fool has to pay for, for acting like a fool. That's the fool tax. It wasn't him. I knew it wouldn't be. All the best then. Come on. Are you sure you wouldn't? No. Let's hear the new jingle. Small faces, yes. Or in my case, Arthur, somebody. It's not particularly yes at all. <laughs> I never thought of that. He probably sang this as well. <laughs> Why? Why what? Second best of everything. He didn't let us touch the real albums. It was only the Pickwick ones. We played Scrabble, not Scrabble. It was the same. We didn't get proper Lego. You always got us some snide Lego. Ah, oh, now that was just as good. Never ethics, always revel. Revel was more rock and roll. You didn't get us action, man. You got something called Action Joe, and he did not have grip hands. Yeah, that wasn't good. Sabutio? You no. Know, Chad Valley Big League. Yes, yes, you've made your point. Go on. What? Well, you also didn't have a mother, did you? Just a dad, so poor substitute there.
Left hand down. I can manage. I could back a bloody panzer out of here. What was that? So get back in the car, get out of the cold. Sure. Your father's back. It wasn't your uncle Michael. I think he's relieved. Well, it's hard to know what's for the best, isn't it? I mean, well, obviously the best would be if they found him when he was alive and well and having a lovely life. Or would it? I mean, that'd be hard. Wouldn't it? To find out that he's been happy all this time and just, you know, shunning you. Letting you go through all this. Like the sightings. You know, people contact your granddad and say they've seen Michael. Some of them say they've talked to him. There was one in Argentina. Imagine. I'm not saying. It'd be better if he was dead. I'm just saying if you had to choose. Everything okay? Have you been there long? Don't worry about it. <sighs> Helen, it's lovely to see you. Have you eaten? Uh, there's plenty of leftovers. I'll get you a bowl. That'd be lovely. If you're sure there's enough, I'd be just as happy with a bit of toast and marmite. No, no. You know you can't take Marmite into Canada because Marmite has a secret ingredient. And the Canadian government took the view that not telling them the secret ingredient was tantamount to asking them to import something without knowing what it is. That's why the people of Canada have no Marmite. Imagine, the second largest country on Earth, more or less nine million square miles and not one jar of Marmite. 
How do they survive? Vegemite. A poor substitute. But then sometimes a poor substitute is all there is. Is Jack out there? Yeah. Upstairs. Gaming. That's a worry, isn't it? Why would that be a worry? He's at home. He's not on the streets. He hasn't gone missing. You didn't hear about the girl in China, then? I did hear about the girl in China. Imagine that. It is a worry. I know China's different. But... Exactly. We don't want him to end up like her. You should watch him. I do try. This business is probably affecting him more than you think. Do you think so? No. I think you might be right. He's got exams. He's doing A-levels. They're stressed. They're all stressed. They're supposed to be stressed. If you can't be stressed about your A-levels, what can you be stressed about? He doesn't seem stressed. He seems more sort of to be, you know, playing that game, which does beg the question. The girl in China question. Exactly. Oh, a present. That's kind of you, Alan. <laughs> what is it? It's a thing. Doing labels. Just putting labels on everything when we were kids. Jumpers only. Please fold towels before replacing. Please replace after use. It helped keep things running smoothly, you know. But also, the font, look, it has an elegant precision. You don't really see that font anywhere else. I don't know what it's called, but I thought you'd appreciate it. Mm. Well, uh, it's getting late. Yeah, it is. Obviously, you're welcome to stay. Well, you would be. Only, um... Don't really have a spare bed, do we? Just the bunk in Jack's room, so... I'm sure that would be fine. Which is you? The one with the big cleavage, that's you. There is total sexual equality among the undead. Doesn't make any difference which gender you are. So why choose to be a girl with enormous breasts? Stop saying things like that. Not breasts. Bosoms. Assets. Glands. Bazookas. Which do you prefer? Other players are more polite to you if you're a girl. It looks a bit choppy, if you don't mind me saying. What? It's not running very smoothly, is it? It's slow and then it's jumpy. Do you want me to change the settings for you? I'm in the middle of an action. Only take a mo.
Grandad. What? That's my bed. Yeah? You didn't expect me to climb up there, did you? What did you? I could give it a go. No, no. No, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I'm saying me prayers. See you for breakfast, that's all. Jack? All right, all right. Grandad's up there and he's playing on my computer. Where else am I supposed to go? Well, I'm sure it's very difficult for you having Grandad in your bedroom. But it's very nice for us having you for breakfast. Oh, I'll give you a lift if you like. Bye then. Why doesn't he want a lift? You drive past the school every day. There's a girl. Oh. He walks past two bus stops to be at the same bus stop as her. And he stands next to her, but he doesn't speak. Really? How do you know that? It's a guess. Yeah, man. Last night was Collie. We were going more or less all night. Oh, we just listened to music. Jammed. Wrote a few new songs. It's a good night, man. Jack! Breakfast. Do let me know if that's not to your satisfaction. Half a million registered players. I'm never short of a game. Does that mean you'll be staying another night then? Unless it's a problem. No, no, it's not a problem. It's just... No, no, it's not a problem. Most of them play the board, not the man. Always play the man. Go for two letter words. They're your real friends. There are 101 two letter words. Five of them are letters of the Greek alphabet. Mu, M-U, Nu, N-U, Pi, obviously, and Xi, X-I. And then you've got your unusual ones like O-E-O, -O, which is a wind in the Faroe Islands. Did your father ever tell you about your great-grandmother's shop? She had a shop, sold all sorts. Licorice all sorts? No. All sorts of things, bread, the papers. Hair nets were big business, I seem to remember. Harpic. Are you telling me a bedtime story? I'm telling you your family history. Coal. She sold coal. People would ask for five pound of potatoes and a bag of coal. She'd go downstairs and get them the coal. Why? 
Why didn't she just keep it upstairs? Ah, that's the point. One day, someone from the coal board, coal was nationalised then, heard about this and thought, we don't deliver to that shop, so how come she sells coal? Go on. Well, it turns out there's a seam in the cellar. The cellar of the shop, one wall of it, had a coal seam running off it. If you asked her for coal, she'd go down there, pick up a pickaxe and chop out a bit of fresh coal for you. She was a part-time freelance coal miner, your great-grandmother. That story is completely untrue. That story is as true as my name. Sorry, I, I was just... Um, no, I, good idea. Give it a go. Which one you like best? I've never been in here before. No. Stand straight. It's hard to gauge the form of the trouser without proper shoes. It's got to be Oxford's, really. You might get away with a Chelsea boot. Have you got a Chelsea boot? I don't know what you're talking about. Ah. When this is done, the thing you have to remember about these buttons is sometimes, always, never. What? The buttons a man keeps fastened sometimes, always, never. Now, take it off and we'll make it sing. You know how this suit needs a bit of a tidy up, a trim? Same thing goes for your hair. I wasn't sure it was him. Is it one of your granddads? I haven't got a spare gun, have you? So I can shoot myself. Don't matter. Your father matters. It's not endearing. And it's not effective. I know it's inconvenient with your granddad. It's not inconvenient. It's disorientating. Awkward. Destabilizing. Confusing? Not confusing. Unsettling. Disquieting. Tense. Anyway, it can't be helped. And, uh, well... You look spruce. I would not want to play Scrabble with you. Really? Wouldn't you? Or your mum. Jack? Give me a lift if you like.
brother went missing, and ever since then... The prodigal son. What? Well, the prodigal son goes missing, and then comes back. And the dad kills the fatted calf and everything, gives him a ring, and then the other son, the one that actually stayed behind to help him, he gets nothing. I hate the prodigal son. Then you're like my dad. Um, are we in the way? No. No, it's fine. Are you eating with us? Is that okay? Yeah. Then you can carry on after food. I'm a well being in by then. <laughs> Good. Good game plan. Play the man, not the board. She's a girl, Grandad. Me too, as a matter of fact. Zoe. You can't have that. Zoe's got two O's. No, actually, Zoe is a word. Are you sure? Definitely, Zoe's a word. What's that? Oxycamphus. What's an oxycamphor? It's chemical. I'm a chemist, Alan, remember? I'd check that if I were you. We're not checking anything. She's a chemist. If she says oxycanthus is a chemical, it's a chemical. I don't mind people checking. Anything that spins the game out, to be honest. Goo, by the way, is a traditional stringed instrument from the Shetland Islands. I'm impressed, but I still want to check it. I also want to know if the dictionary tells us why Jack would ever know the name of a traditional string thing from the Falklands. Shetlands. And what's yo? You can't have yo. Mm -hmm. What is it? Clearly it's half a yo-yo. It's a greeting. Greetings are allowed. Thank you, Mr Jack Starch. There it is. Oxycamphor. You are right. She knows damn well. She's right. What are you talking about? What was the next one? Yo. Don't look that up. I just said it's a greeting and greetings are allowed. You were forever using hi and ho. You know yo's okay. <laughs> Did you really play ho, Grandad? As in hoes and cars? <laughs> <laughs> so don't look that up. Dad! You're not even playing! Sue? Sue, is that you? Peter? It's me, your dad. Oh, sorry. You all right? 
Yeah, I was just passing. You don't have to get out, it's fine. My house, your house. I was finished anyway. Cup of tea. I just wanted to say about last night. It's fine. No problem. Come on, cup of tea. I don't know how we keep rubbing each other up, you know, the wrong way. I think it's to do with Michael, isn't it? Probably. Hey, go and look at this. Don't worry about me trying to communicate with you or anything. Where have you seen those words before? Um, in a game of Scrabble. Our Michael used to play them. Wow. All good players use those words. They're two-letter words. You've got them written down here. It's him. I'm sure of it. He's fast and he's got lovely words and he always maximizes the score. And he's not sentimental, you know, he doesn't just play a word because it looks nice. It's him. Zoe. He played Zoe that night. You said there was no such word in this when he walked out. What? You said there was no such word in this. What? Are you blaming me? I told you to stay in the bathroom. I did stay in there. But I was turning into a prune in that bath. Anyway, why should I hide? Done nothing wrong. I know you. I've met you. You're married. Not anymore, son. Looking for our Nigel was the only thing that kept us together. And once we found him, recriminations, boredom, you name it. What, what have you been? Have you had sex? Have you had sex in my bed? Well, we weren't going to have sex in Jack's bed, were we? It's a bunk bed. I'm not Tarzan. Anyway, it didn't feel right, did it, having sex in the kids' room? Have you had sex in my bed? How could you do that? Even I don't have sex in my bed. Don't you? Son, you must ask yourself why you're making so much fuss. I mean, what harm are we doing? Anyway, you should be proud of your dad. Let me tell you. He's a very considerate and accomplished lover. Oh, God, shut up. No, seriously. Please. He's got empathy. Please. No one Please stop talking. I'm going to go. And when I come back, this hasn't happened. OK? Yeah. 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 You see, the thing is, the traffic is horrendous. Mm -hmm. I mean, really. So let's reschedule. Then I can uh, get my ducks in a row. No, I don't mean literal ducks. No, I, I don't do ducks. I don't do chipmunks either. Chipmunks are... I mean, chipmunks aren't even an indigenous species. And we've already agreed on squirrels. Mm. Squirrels eating ice cream. Who's not going to love that? Thank you.
Oh. No problem. Granddad's gone. Gone? Gone where? Gone, gone. His bags are gone. The lot. He's not answering his phone. He's left. Did you say something to him? Have you had a row? What? No. Ask him. I never said anything to him apart from good night. We have to find him. What do you mean we have to find him? He's a missing person. What do you want to find a missing person? He's a grown man. He's gone back to his own home. I don't know why I left it in the first place. Mum, we should find him. Definitely. Um... Oh, have you both gone crazy? He didn't live here. Therefore, the fact that he's not here does not make him lost. On the contrary, it means he's gone back to where he's supposed to. How do you know that if he's not answering his phone? Maybe you should go around and check. He's lived in that house for 50 years. Not once in all of that time have I ever considered going to see if he's still living there. Dad? Ian? No, he's not. Do you know where? Where is he? I don't know where he is. Do you? He's not in there. I've looked. I know, but can I have a look around? I've never been inside. He's funny about it. Well, if he's funny about it, it's not for me to be serious about it, is it? But, well, I thought there might be, you know, a clue. If he's not said where he is, maybe he doesn't want you to know where he is. We're supposed to be going to this thing in Chester. He bought me tickets. A present? Why would he buy them and not turn up? Why does he do most of the things he does? Has he talked to you about this, um... Skinny, what's his name? Thesaurus. He doesn't know anything about him. He says he wants to meet him. Everyone knows you should never arrange to meet someone that you only know from the internet. It's dangerous. There was that girl, wasn't there, from Barnsley? Ran off with some guy who turned out to be 30 stone. She was only 14. I don't think anyone's been sexually grooming my dad. No. But what if this skinny fella turns out to be a kid? And people, um, think it's your dad who's doing the abducting. Jesus. Is this you? Yeah, that's me and... Michael, the one who ran away. Is that him? That's him, the prodigal son. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh, 
Og det skal jeg ikke. Ej, nej, fej, det så. Yeah. And I, I saw these pictures and that's his... Oh, I remembered being in the morgue. Right. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> what was I thinking of? <laughs> Is he mentally enfeebled in any way? More than he ever was. Confused at all? No more than the rest of us. I can take his details. I'll get you a photo. If we get an unidentified body or an injured person that matches the description, then sure, we can give you a call and ask... Don't do that. I don't want to do that. Well, then, <laughs> to be honest, he's hale and hearty, he's past the age of consent. Unless he's waving around unlicensed firearms or driving without due care and attention, then I don't see no, that. I know, I know. You know, one night, my son went missing. He got in a big knock and walked out of the room. We were watching Top Gear. I told him to stop talking over it. Off he went, banged the door. Then he never came back. State of panic. Rang all his mates. I was driving around the streets looking for him, wiping tears, you've no idea. Yes, I am. I'm driving around and I am literally shaking. Called the station, got people on it, didn't know what else to do. And then I went up to his bedroom. <sighs> No, no. I went up to his bedroom and he was fast asleep. He'd gone straight to bed. There he was, all cosy. It happens. Not all the time. It's a heartache. Nothing but a heartache. Hits you when it's too late. Hits you when you're down. It's a fool's game. Nothing but a fool's game. Standing in the cold rain. Feeling like a clown. It's a heartache. Nothing, Nothing but, but a heartache. Love him till your arms break Then he lets you down It ain't right with love to share Jack's found him. What, is he here? No, he's not here. He synced his phone with my desktop. He had find my phone turned on. So if I go here, that's him. That's where he is. Where is that? Somewhere near Ainsdale. Well, then he's fine then, isn't he? He's just gonna go and get away from it all. That's where we used to go on holiday when we were kids. What if he's gone to meet someone? Huh. He talked about going to meet some guy off the internet. He's not gonna meet some guy off the internet. What's a guy off the internet doing in Ainsdale? Well, that explains why he's not answering his phone. He's got no signal. You don't even care. You don't even care one little bit. Well, what do you want me to do? He's gone on a jolly, he just said. I know my dad better than you. 
and I know he's okay. But I'm gonna go up there. But I'm doing it for you, not him, okay? Listen. What's that? It's just a nice word. I'm just... Favourite words. Oh. Do you know what my favourite word is? No, I don't. So... So, go on, give it a go. So, so. <laughs> Small pleasures, eh? Alan! Dad! You broke his heart, you know. All he ever talked about was you. Doesn't matter. 
What conversational gambit you try? The tides, the weather, European fishing quotas, the sudden appearance of bottlenosed dolphins, the mating habits of the North Atlantic grey seal. It all comes back to you. I, I, I wish he was here. Like... His other son. What? The one who didn't run away. The one he's been staying with. <laughs> the one he went to possibly identify the body with. I've got a son, Jack. He's quite close to my dad. <laughs> my wife, Sue. No, mate. <sighs> well, we're a bit worried about him. We worried he might have gone off in a distracted state and done something, you know. Hang on a minute. How do I know that you're his son? How do I know that you're not the tax or the police? Why would the police be after him? I don't know. He's an awkward bugger. He's my dad. We're worried about him. Just tell me what you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it. You're the very image of him when you get narky. He's out. I know he's out. That's why I'm worried about him. Why are you worried? He's a very experienced sailor, isn't he? Is he? Yeah. Storms and gales. Dropped a lot. Him and that little boat. Yeah. Very experienced. Very experienced. What are you looking for? What have I been looking for all these last years? When I put on my coat and walk and walk and walk. What do you think I was looking for? I remember you doing it. But I didn't know what you were doing at the time. I thought all that said that, you know. I didn't know where else to look. Apart from everywhere. They tell you to think about everything you know about them. But it turned out I didn't know that much. Only the Scrabble thing. And I don't even know if he liked Scrabble that much, just... It stuck in my mind because he walked out in the middle of a game. I should have gone after it. You were in a knock. I should have gone after him. That's true, I never thought of that. I think it's going to be about the words, but it's just about the numbers. You think you're going to be playing Lagoon, and Lambent, or Soap. But it's all new, Pi, Zah, and Zoo. Nobody leaves home over a game of Scrabble. It wasn't about the Scrabble. Scrabble was just the occasion. It was Mum. As soon as Mum died, he was just angry all the time. Something bad happened to him when I should have been protecting him. Dad, we don't know that. And then this skinny thesaurus started. I mean, look at this. He plays exactly like our Michael. Same words sometimes. I've been playing him. I know I have. He's found me, or I've found him. And if he is, you know, I've been playing a ghost. All good players play the same way. 
yet until the other day and then look look at this marauder down the side there would you waste a u on a word like that marauder is the name of our caravan he's trying to talk to me Dad. so i messaged him Dad. i'm gonna meet him Dad, look don't here do that. everybody the knows you should well, what have i got to be scared of the only thing i'm scared of is dying before i sort this out Fancy a game? <laughs> Where did you get that? eBay. We've been playing each other for weeks, haven't we? What? You're him, aren't you? Skinny thesaurus. I'm sorry. I'm all that is. Pickwick, top of the pops of sons. It's all right. I'm the Chad Valley big league of dads. This is bloody useless, isn't it? The pieces are too flimsy. They get crumpled when you try to pick them up, look. Well, that's all there is. If you want to play, then that's it. You have to make the best of it, then. Yeah. It's clear enough. Yeah, it's OK. Nice day. Well, not nice, but ordinary.
He's not coming back. The prodigal son. Not today. Give it a minute. The traffic's terrible. The other son. The non particle one. Do you know what he got for his troubles? Days. Mornings. Afternoons. At home. With his family. Ordinary days like this one. That's what he got. Bright bikini yellow, the sky was a wedgewood blue, the mood was unspeakably mellow when you came and spoiled the view. The sea is a black and blue diva, it sticks to your skin like glue. The summer was nice and easy till you came and spoiled the view. It's all about. Again. 